another episode in Mappy 8. Good day, Philippines! Good day, Northern Mindanao! Good day, Miss Time is Oriental! This is your teacher for today, Micah Shala D. Momo, your partner in learning. Learn with Teacher Micah. Are you excited to learn something today? That is great! I am too! But first, here are some friendly reminders. Number one, use your activity sheet in answering the exercises. Number two, listen and stay focused in our lesson for today. Number three, observe honesty and integrity in doing a test and checking your answer. And number four, have fun! What this module is about? Hmm. In this module, you will learn about the world of team basketball. As you go along, you will encounter activities that allow you to demonstrate understanding of the benefits derived from your engagement and participation in basketball together with your family, which eventually promote family fitness, health, and wellness. What I need to know! After working on the activities, you are expected to Describes the nature and background of the sport. What's more? Fitness is a very important component of success in basketball. Of course, you generally need to be tall and have good skills, but you also need the right physical fitness attributes. Players requires excellent strength and power, running speed, balance and agility, as well as good level of aerobic endurance fitness. Basketball is a team sport. It is played by two competing teams. The objective of the game is to score in the opponent's basket and prevent the other team from scoring. A team wins by scoring more points than the other. Team consists of 12 players maximum, with 5 players on the court for each team. A basketball court is a rectangle, measuring 28 meters by 15 meters. A game consists of 4 quarters of 10 minutes each. If the scores is tied at the end of the regular time, the game continues with as many additional 5 minutes overtime as necessary until one team wins. The game starts with jump ball between one player from each of the two teams in the center circle. A basket is worth 2 points when the shot is taken inside the 3-point line. Three points when the shot is taken beyond the three-point line. And one point when the shot is a free throw. Rules and regulation in basketball. Free throws are awarded after a foul is called when a player is the act of shooting. A personal foul is a penalty involving illegal contact between two opponents. It can be either defensive or offensive. A player is allowed five personal fouls in a game. Each team is allowed four team fouls per quarter. When this limit is reached, the opposing team is awarded two free throws. 
A player cannot stop the dribble, catch the ball, and then dribble again. This is a double dribble violation. A player who catches the ball while progressing or upon completion of a dribble, if the player takes more than two steps, that is a traveling violation. A team has 24 seconds to attempt a shot. If the same team gets an offensive rebound off of its own missed shot, it has 14 seconds to attempt another shot. Failure to attempt a shot within the located time constitutes a shot lock violation. Once a team has the ball and passes the half-court line, it cannot cross it back. Doing so is a backcourt violation. A player on offense is not allowed to stay in the restricted area for more than three consecutive seconds. Doing so is a three-second violation. A timeout is an interruption of the game requested by the head coach. The timeout lasts one minute. Each team is entitled to five timeouts during four quarters and one timeout during each overtime. What is it? Basketball was invented in December 1891 by the Canadian clergyman, educator, and physician James Naismith. Facilities and equipment. Number one, the court. It is a flat, hard surface free from obstruction with a dimension of 28 meters in length and 15 meters in width. Number two, the ball. It is a spherical inflated ball used in the game of basketball with a standard size of 75 to 75.88 centimeter in diameter. Number three, the ring or basket. It is the steel rim of 18 inches in diameter with a net attached to it and is affixed to a backboard. The five basic skills of basketball. We have number one, shooting. Number two, dribbling. Number three, rebounding. Number four, passing. And number five, Blocking. What's new? Duties and powers of official in basketball. Now I'm going to show you some of the. This is how you start the clock. This is how you stop the clock, either for a violation with your hand open, or if your fist is closed, that means you have a foul. Open hand is a violation, closed hand is a foul. By raising your hand, you stop the clock. Jump ball. This is the proper signal for jump ball. Hand up, two thumbs up, closing in at the play. Directional signal. Hand cupped, pointing the direction. So if a ball goes out of bounds, it's hand up, stop the clock, direction. Every time you point direction, you should also signify the color. So out of bounds, white ball. Designated spot for throwing. We have our hand up for a, for a travel. We point to the spot where the ball will be thrown in. We have three types of visible counts. We have a 10 second count in the backcourt. When we count, we count from our waist to our shoulders. We have a five second closely guarded count in the front court when either held ball or dribbling while closely guarded six feet, five seconds. When we beckon substitutes on the floor, hands up, we wave them in, bring them onto the floor. We have a 60 second timeout, white coach. 
We have a 30 second timeout. White coach. If we are disallowing a basket, no score. If we have basket interference and the basket counts, goal is good. If we have a drive to the basket and we have an and one situation, we score the basket, two points, and we will have one foul shot. Three point field goal attempts. Hand at a 45, shot is made, touchdown, three points. When the teams have reached the bonus situation, which is seven team fouls, on the seventh team foul, we come out, foul, hold, one and one. If we have a lane violation during a free throw, and it's on the defensive team, we have a delayed violation signal. If the ball goes in, we put our hand down and continue. Basket's good. Traveling. Stop the clock. Travel. We have an illegal dribble. Violation. Illegal dribble. Direction. For over and back or palming, it is the same signal. Stop clock. Hand rotates like it's palming. Three second violations, three fingers towards the key, three seconds, direction. When we have a five second violation, stop the clock, five seconds, direction. If we're coming up in a 10 second violation, both hands, 10, Direction. If we have a designated spot and we're not shooting free throws, as soon as the ball, there's a foul, we point to where we want the ball put in play. So it would be clinch fist for a foul, spot of throwing. Excessive swinging of elbows. Kicking. Hand up. Kick. Illegal use of hands, foul, hand. Okay, hand check, hand check. Holding. Blocking. Pushing. Charging. Team control foul. Intentional foul. Double foul. Technical foul. what I have learned. And now, let us test what you have already know about our topic. Let us answer activity 2, answer me. Identify the following. Write your answers in your activity sheet. Number 1. The person who developed basketball. The answer, James Naismith. Number 2. The year when it was invented. The answer, 1891. Number 3. The country where it was invented. The answer, Canada. Number 4. Circumference of the ball in centimeter. The answer, 75 to 75.88 centimeter. 
Number 5. The size of the court for NBA. Its length and width. The answer, 28 meters in length and 15 meters in width. What's new? Task number two. Here is the list of basic skill in playing team sports. Mark check on the basic skills in basketball and leave blank if not. time and let's see your answers number one dribble number two chest pass number three bounce pass number seven shoot number eight free throw and lastly number 12 three seconds violation assessment multiple choice directions choose the letter of the correct answer write your answer in your activity sheet Number 1. Basketball was invented in December 1891 by A. James Nasmith, B. James Nismith, C. James Nasmith, D. James Smith. And the answer is letter C. James Nasmith. Number 2. It is the first basic skill to be learned in basketball. A. Shooting B. Passing C. Dribbling D. Running The answer is letter A. Shooting Number 3. It is a pass that originates from the chest to the receiver's chest level. A. Overhead pass B. Down pass C. Chest pass D. Under pass The answer is letter C, chest pass. Number 4. What is the shape of a basketball court? A. Oval B. Square C. Circular D. Rectangular The answer is letter D, rectangular. Number 5. A basketball hoop consists of a rim blank in diameter. A. 15 inches B. 16 inches C. 17 inches D. 18 inches The answer is letter D. 18 inches Number 6. A violation to move without dribbling the ball A. Passing B. Point guard C. Traveling D. Double dribble The answer is letter C. Traveling Number 7. A pass that originates from the forehead. A. Overhead. B. Down pass. C. Chest pass. D. Under. The answer is letter A. Overhead. Number 8. All line markings on the floor are blank in chest white and can vary in color. A. 2. B. 2 and half. C. 3. D. 3 and 1 half. The answer is letter A, 2. Number 9. There are blank maximum substitutions per quarter. A, 3, B, 2, C, 4, D, 5. The answer is letter D, 5. Lastly, number 10. An official responsible to take down scores, fouls, and timeouts. A, linesman. B. Umpire C. Recorder D. Referee The answer is letter C. Recorder I know and I'm sure it was so easy for you. Congrats, great learners! 
Assignment, Performance Test. Record yourself executing the five basic skills of basketball. Submit the recorded videos to my messenger account at Maika Yamomo. When in doubt, or even if you need assistance, you can always ask your parents, siblings, friends, or even your teachers. Your teachers are always ready to help you out. This has been a fun learning episode. This is your partner in learning, teacher Micah saying, you can learn something new every day if you just listen. Goodbye everyone! Learn with Teacher Micah!